So, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, and did I ever tell you the story where I didn't get hired at GameStop? Never had a job at GameStop. I've heard a lot of other YouTubers or other people, they would talk about their GameStop uh, horror stories or behind the scenes or what it's really like working at GameStop. Um, and I never have those stories because I've never worked at GameStop. Oh, I applied. I did. I was, at a, I was out of work for a couple of months. I didn't really care for the way the radio station was going that I was on at the time. The radio station was changing directions, but I was still a part of it. But I wasn't happy with it, and I had zero control or creative say or anything like that. So um, I just kind of, just like when Steve Austin left WWE, he didn't like where I was going. He just kind of got up and left. So I just, I, I literally got up and left. And um, I was out of work for a few months before I found another job in radio. Um, but during that time, I had to make money somehow, right? So um, I applied at GameStop. And that's when I found out that GameStop isn't looking for gamers. They're looking for salespeople. And everyone's a salesperson, whether you're collecting money or not. I mean, just how you present yourself in public, uh, you know, whatever you're trying to sell someone on, you're trying to like, you know, pitch them your YouTube channel, you're trying to pitch them, um, you know, this cool like, expo coming up or something like that. Everybody's selling something, right? Whether it's money or something, you know, it's you're selling yourself, you know, you're selling just like, hey, here's me and I'm asking you how you're feeling and stuff like that. And, um, but no, they're, I mean, the manager flat out said, that he's not a gamer. I mean, he's just like, I don't play the video games, I just sell them. And I was like, okay, it's, it's gonna be that corporate. And, I, it, and later on in life, I kind of learned, that's probably the right idea. Like if you're so passionate, I mean, it helps if you have a passion for video games, but you need to be able to sell, sell the strategy guide. You need to be able to sell someone on the pre-order. You know, that's part of the criteria of how they make money. If they don't make money, then you're out of a job. Right? That's, you know, the more money they make, then, you know, hopefully that's what it's like anyway. <laughs> Again, I've never worked there, so I don't know the behind the scenes marketing value of it all, but it makes sense to me. Um, but it kind of caught me off surprise where it's like, oh, here's the manager of GameStop, the manager of GameStop. And he's like, I don't play video games. I just sell them. And the assistant manager was kind of the same way, although he did, he did do a little bit of PC gaming, but not console gaming. I was like, ah, oh, come on. I was like, I can be your console guru. I know all about all these games, you know, and, and this is like the mid nineties. Um, you know, when he told me this at first and it kind of stuck, stuck with me there. Um, and there were employees that were into video games, but no, no one that was like super, super weird on your sleeve, passionate about it. Like I was um, even back in the mid nineties. And uh, this was the time when I actually applied to work there. Um, when I actually applied to have a job there, it was like 2002, yeah, it, was, it was 2002. 2003, sorry, and um, and it was just just that I went in there and asked for. I mean, they were hiring, they asked for an application, and he was like, "Yeah, but can?" And he knew who I was, so they used to shop there all the time. And he's like, "Yeah, but can you sell a strategy guide? Can you sell a pre-order?" I was like, "Well, yeah, I sell all the time. It's what I, it's what we do." And uh, and that now hiring sign was on that door for those three months, and I never got a call back. I went in and inquired. I'd pick up a game. It's like, "Hey, you're still hiring? I'm still interested." Never happened. So GameStop, you lost out on all this. <laughs> Which could be a good or bad thing, I guess. But, um, but I'm I'm okay not working at GameStop. I you know it's okay that others have that experience, and I have plenty of retail experience. I worked at a video store. I've worked at a drug store. Um, I worked at um, I, I delivered newspapers for a year and a half. You know, I've I've had plenty of other jobs too. Um, but yeah, never never had the GameStop experience. So maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. I'm not exactly sure. But either way. I thank you for watching all the same. I just wanted to share that story with you really quickly. So thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or stories, whatever, you can leave them uh, comments down below. And, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll answer some more of your uh, comments and stories and questions uh, in, a few, in future videos anyway. But thank you for your time and attention. Um, I appreciate it so much. Thank you.